All right, what's going on, so, bro? So I've been um I've been married for six years. So okay. five years in so five years in a marriage, my wife was just like, okay, she's gonna leave, and she's gonna go to school, and so she took she left and she took the kids with her. And then after she gets home to go to school to complete a degree, she's just like, I'm not coming back. Oh, shit. And, and so she's been gone for about a year and a half now. And she's like, no, I'm not coming back. And so, you know, I was on my purpose, on my grind, doing all the shit I'm supposed to do, you know, in the gym, working out, you know, handling my business. And she's like, you know, I'm out. I'm going to school. It's over, bro. It's over. How old are you? 38. 38. How old is she? 35. 35. How many kids y'all got? Two. Two. Was it a lot of problems? It had to be a lot of problems in this in this thing. Yeah, it was some problems. issues. Some yeah, issues. She didn't like I, me. She didn't she didn't like she didn't like me working. She didn't like me doing what the shit I was supposed to do. She wanted me to always be up under her. I don't think that's why she left you though, bro. Okay. I ain't, ain't, no, ain't no girl gonna leave you because you working too much. They know that that working too much. Uh, that, that if you take care of them, they know that you working. That's an excuse. They know that when you working, that's more money for them. Every woman knows that. Every woman, yeah, woman that's- women want you to work, bro. When they, t- especially when they benefit from you, they want your ass to work. Hey, don't you gotta go to work? Tell her, tell her, I'm gonna call off today. Watch how she look. That's an excuse, bro. It's right. it's 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 more more to it than that. Um, when she left, was it an argument that caused her to leave? Because I noticed you said she left and then she went to school. And well, she, she actually she actually she actually wanted to she actually wanted me to go with her, but I was just like, that's not a good economic move for me. I can't go back uh, there. So, was well, she went back to her parents? Yeah, she yeah she lived in her parents' house. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, she wanted her own identity and all that. She wanted to get herself together and support herself yeah. and be independent and all yeah. that. There's nothing. Yeah. That's it. That's a wrap, bro. There's nothing you can do about that. Got to move yeah. on. You got to move on. Right. You got to let it go. It's over. If if she now, when she get out here and see that this shit raggedy as fuck, the bills ain't what's up and uh, it's hard out here, she'll more than likely be back. But I don't think you should even. I know that's your family and shit, and you you have a you had a sense of family. I understand how that go. I've been in that situation, not married, but uh, that's a tough thing because men we tend to we tend to take pride in our families, man. I I, I understand. That. I've been there, bro. Trust me. Yeah. Um, yeah. Start a new one. Yeah. You can't you can't make somebody do something that they don't want to do. I'm not gonna sit here and bash her. I'm not going to, because I don't know what was going on in y'all home. But what I do know is it seems though she made a decision. My identity, my career, uh, my schooling, this is more important to me than this relationship. And if he don't want to come, then I'm I'm not going to hold my life up. And when you got somebody that's on that type of time, there's nothing that you can do about that. Does that mean she's a bad person? No, she's not a bad person because she feel like she want to make more of her life now like i said i don't know the problems that y'all had i can just go based on what you telling me right now so if she yeah. feels like she want to make better for herself whether she don't she can't really depend on you or she want to make a good example for her kids or her daughters or whatever then there's yeah. nothing that you can do about that you have to accept that or move with her like i was telling the gentleman before you gotta you gotta put shit on the scale okay do i want to move with her that's going to be economic. I, economically, that ain't feasible. But okay, I got to understand it. I could lose her. Uh, I can lose my family by that. Or will I stay here? How am I going to feel? Will I stay? You have to make a decision and you have to make a sacrifice, but you have to make, you have to be good and no regrets with what you what you decided to do. Okay. You understand what okay. I'm saying? And just understand that, hey, you know, my family that I had is no longer. You have to accept that. Go get therapy if you need to. I would advise you don't pick up no bottle with no smoke or nothing. Go get therapy. Heal. Accept the fact. First, you have to accept the fact that it's over, bro. And it's, that's nothing. I'm telling you, bro. There's nothing that you can do to change her mind. When somebody when somebody have that ambition to, hey, I want it. Ain't nothing you can, because I'm pretty sure she couldn't stop you from your shit. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. 
yeah. You just gotta let that play out. You understand what I'm saying? And if she double back, then she double back. That's on you, right? But in order to begin healing, because I could see the pain in your face, you know what I'm saying? And you know, I usually take a fun, a, a funny disposition with the people that come on and shit. But I could, I could see the pack, I could see the hurt in you, bro. I could see that shit. Tell you, I know what that looked like because I've been there. Yeah. yeah, you have to, you have to, um, you have to accept it first. Accept it for what it is. Like I said, I don't know the ins and out of y'all shit, but one thing you do have to accept is that that's what she want to do with her life, and you can't be mad at that. You know, you can't be mad at that. You can be mad and frustrated because you feel like you wasted your time, you got nothing out of it and all that. Just accept the fact. That's how you start to heal. As long as you're trying to piece together this and trying to, well, maybe it's this, maybe it's this, maybe, you know, maybe I I can convince her this. As long as you're trying to do that, well, maybe I just miss my family. You have to look yourself in the mirror and say, this shit is over with. It's over. Say it out loud record it on your phone and play it over and over again once you accept that you'll start to you'll be you'll start to heal and if you want a family that bad then you you know you can make another one it's not too late just create you another family bro yeah. you understand what i'm saying or if that's not the move for you then you know be single or you do what you're gonna do but you gotta accept the fact that it unless you move with her and i'm pretty sure that it's too late to do that right now you don't want to do that so you made your decision. You you chose because she may be looking at you like, well, he chose his economics over me. You understand what I'm saying? Just like you feeling like she chose her career over me and our family, right? She may feel like, well, damn, he care about this. He can he can fucking figure that shit out. He can figure out how to get his economics back up to point with his move. So she may feel the same way. So understand that, right? Both of you guys made a choice, and you have to just you gotta accept it. But it, it ain't really nothing I can tell you to get her back. It is nothing I can tell you because I know how that I know what that looked like when a woman feel like I need to start living for me and my identity and, and all that shit is over. It's a wrap, bro. It's a wrap. Right. Now when them bills start kicking her in the ass, she'll start with the, you know, hey, what's up? Let's go out to get a bite to eat and, and you know, sucking your good and all that shit. When them bills start kicking that ass, and she start realizing how raggedy these niggas is out here. See what I'm saying? She'll she'll start to, to 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 think again, but by that time, man, if you if, if you working on yourself the right way, you'll start to you'll look at her crazy. You know what I'm saying? She'll be back. This shit gonna kick her on her ass, bro. So you yeah. know, that's just you gotta take the L. We have to learn how to as men, we have to learn how to accept loss, bro, and, and look at it as a lesson. We don't be wanting to take that L. We don't be wanting to take that loss. You know what I'm saying? We don't be want to accept the the fact that I lo I lost, I lost. I ain't getting nothing out of this situation. But that happens. You ain't gonna make. You ain't gonna win on every time you roll a dice. You ain't gonna win on every business venture. You're not gonna win. You're not gonna win every time. You you're not gonna make the shot every time. You're not gonna keep every chick forever. They not. It don't. You know. Sometimes we lose, and we have to accept that. See what I'm saying? Right. We have to accept that. Use that pain to motivate you to 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 to, to push higher, and just learn. You know what are the what are the the the, the qualities that I saw in her that was red flags? Because it probably was red flags. She may have not been for you to. I don't know. You know, and it I I don't even want to even dissect your shit like that. It don't even look like you're in the mental space to just looking at you. Don't even look like you're in the mental space to even be going through all that. And, and and to take you down that road so i ain't gonna do that unless you want to do that but what i can say is you got to learn from this and accept the fact that you took an l bro yeah because that'd be the hardest part you know and just picking back up we take we like i said we tend to take and that's that's normal though see i i teach guys you know i, I teach these young cats you know, don't let women, don't make women complete you. Women don't complete you. You can't, like I was just telling the gentleman before, you heard me talking to the guy before, but it's yeah. different with your family. It's different when you have a family. We take pride in our family. We pay, we take pride in providing for our families and the family unit as a whole, that completes us. That's natural. That's a natural feeling. I know because I've been there. I ain't, I ain't shared all of that as far as my story and shit. I will one day, I share a lot of stuff, but one day I'll tell that particular story 
But I know how that feels. You we take pride in our families. I feel, we feel like okay, we have a family now. That family completes us. And when that family leaves, a part of us leaves, especially with kids and shit like that. But you gotta understand that this is a chapter. It's over. I lost. She got me. She got me. She won. She won. And once you are okay with that, it'll be a lot better and it'll it'll help you. It'll help you move on. You understand? And use the things that you've been doing. Keep going to the gym. Keep, you know, um, you know, go to therapy. I, I suggest you go to therapy too. Keep going to the gym. Keep working on your shit, working on your purpose, working on your passions and contributing. It'll help, but it's not nothing is going to change. Nothing is going to change that feeling until you accept the fact that you took a loss. All right. You feel what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, bro. What you what you do? What you do right now for work? Like what you do? Um, I'm in the um the public sector. So like I work with um I'm a supervisor in public housing. Oh, that's what's up. So, so you kind of you, you're yeah. big deal. You're yeah. big deal. That's what's up. Yeah, man. Just focus focus on that, man. Find a way to give back. Um, you know, I learned I learned a, a, a good way to getting over stuff like that, man. I, I learned to like give back to people. Like what I do with this shit, you know what I'm saying? Like me, me like talking to people and me doing consultations and me DMing people is giving back. You know, sometimes I may pay for a kid to play football or, you know, whatever, do something up, help my brother out or help, just help people and give back in the way you can. That makes you feel better. That that make, that gives you more confidence, man. It, it, it helps you heal through your shit. So, you know, figure out through, you know, I don't know if that's your passion, but figure out how to contribute more through your passions and shit like that and not just people think when they say oh i'm on my purpose i'm on my purpose it's just oh i'm working i'm working i'm working that ain't that ain't what your purpose is right that ain't your passions what i'm doing this is my like i feel like i i feel like i was born to do this shit you get what i'm saying like i feel like yeah like i've been talking for fucking two hours I ain't stopped talking for two fucking hours you understand what i'm saying like yeah. naturally so, and I get joy out of this. It's therapeutic for me. You feel me? And I know that I'm helping right. people, right? So that makes me feel better, regardless of what somebody just did to me yesterday or what a bitch may did to me two years ago or how I don't got a family no more. You know, my kids ain't in the same house when they buy. I get to back and balance all that out with the fact that I'm actually making the world a better place, right? It helps me, you know, with the shit. So don't just work, right? right? Work, work. Yeah, you got to work because you got to pay bills, but figure out how to give. You know, figure out how to give. And and right. once I learned that the power of giving, I started to look at relationships different. Like, like with, with, with my situation, I won't go too much into it, right? The situation that I was in a while back, right? It was my longest situation. I started to realize that I, I, how can I be mad Right. Because I'm pretty sure you feel like I gave this chick so much. I gave this family so much for me to not get nothing. Right. Yeah, that, that's how that feels. That'd that be a lot of that pain. But once you realize, OK, once I start giving more and doing stuff like this, it's giving and giving or, or just being a given person. I started to realize that. I really didn't lose. I really didn't lose. I gave a lot because I give a lot. I give a lot to y'all. I give a lot to everybody. So she didn't really, you know what I'm saying? And I give to y'all without expecting back. I don't expect out of y'all. I don't expect anything for y'all. So why should I expect that from anybody else? Now, I, of course, I, you know, on the, with the player shit, you know, you make a bitch provide you value and shit. But I'm talking about on on, on a on a on a on a on a broader spectrum. Once I realize I, I give, I like to give. It makes me feel good. I look back on that la on the last situation that I was in. I'm like, you know, I just gave, and she got the upgrade. I'm cool. I get that back anyway. God gonna bless me anyway for giving so much, right? So at the end of the day, what did I lose? All right. What did I lose but a headache? You understand? Right. Right. So you know, just. You got this, bro. You got it. It's, I know how it feels, bro. Trust me. I know how that shit feel, bro. 
I know how that shit feel. But you know, you what can you do about it? There's nothing. You can grieve, you can be sad, you can be mad all you want to. It's not gonna change. It's right. not gonna change. It's not gonna change. How long ago was this? Uh this was this has been about a year and a half. About a year and a half. It's still yeah, that that's gone. You you do do have you dated or talked to anybody else? Just curious. Nah, I mean like I oh, didn't mess, mess around with chicks. Yeah, I didn't I didn't mess around with chicks, but like nothing serious. Nothing serious, yeah. You got it. You know, get that up off you, bro. Here, don't don't even take nothing serious, but you just gotta let that go, bro. You have to let it go. Yeah. You have to let it go. That that be the problem. That that be the, the key to us healing and moving on. So we don't want to let it go. We don't want to accept the loss. We don't want to understand that everything ain't gonna go our way. Right. We take L's. The bitch got us. The bitch got me. We don't want to accept that. And some guys, it, it bother them so much that they'll take their life or they'll go kill everybody in the house because they don't want to accept that. Right. But you just have to accept that. You ain't gonna come out. You ain't gonna come out on top all the time. If you start a business right now, you're gonna lose more in that business than you did with that woman. And that hurts. It it fucks, it hurts. You understand what I'm saying? But you have to, right. you can't let the fact that you lost some money stop you from getting your business going. You still got to move. You still got product to serve. You still got people to save. You still got people to help. I've lost shit doing this. Okay. I've took L's doing this shit. And it hurt. But guess what? Got to keep it moving. It is what it is. Right? right. I've lost right. women. All right. Lost, lost women, lost relationships, lost my family, all that. Family, all that. Gotta keep trucking. Gotta keep trucking, bro. It's it's over. You know? All right. But you got this, bro. You just keep your head up. Stay, you know, and just accept it. You all know? Right. And just start to start to truly heal and not just numb yourself. See, people try to work out and all that to try to numb themselves. You got to truly start to heal and, and, and process that it's over. I'm starting a new life. It's over. Okay. It's over. Once you start to get back, get back to yourself, get your self, sense of self back and understand that this is your way of life. Then you can start to, if you want a new family, if that family ain't work, I'm going to start me a new one. Fuck it. Or I'm going to live this way now. Fuck it. This is what I do. You know what I'm saying? Start traveling. Or, you know, you single and shit. You know, you ain't got those responsibilities. Start traveling or doing something. and Living a new life. Get accustomed to new shit. But sitting stewing and trying to hold on to that shit ain't gonna help you, bro. Let that right. shit go and keep moving. All right. You got anything else for me, bro? No, that's it. All right, for sure, bro. Appreciate you, bro, for coming on and sharing right. that. I know it's a tough thing to do, but accept that bro and just start to you know and if you need me some more just send me an email or dm dm me or whatever and i got you bro okay all right thanks all right for sure be easy bro all right